Good morning, this is Dr. Rajkumar Arya, Associate Professor in Department of Chemical Engineering, NIT Jalandhar. Today I am going to explain the quit flow with different viscosity fluids between flat parallel plates. So this is the polymer statement considered a modified form of quit flow in which there are two immiscible fluids sandwiched between two infinitely long and wide parallel flat plates. The flow is steady, comma, incompressible, comma, parallel and laminar. The top plate moves at velocity u naught in positive directions. Gravity acts in negative y directions. There is no force pressure gradient pushing the fluid through the channel. The flow is set up solely by viscous effect created by moving upper plate. You may ignore the surface tension effect and assume that in interface is horizontal. The pressure at the bottom of the flow at y equal to 0 is equal to P0. Now, what you are supposed to do, list all the appropriate boundary conditions on both velocity and pressures. Second, solve for velocity field, solve for pressure field. So this is a schematic of the flow. So you have uh, two flat plate, one is this one bottom, which is the stationary. And one is top plate plate, which is moving with the velocity of u naught in x directions. So up to the height s1 you have fluid with uh, density rho1 viscosity mu1. From h1 to h2 you have the another fluid of density rho2 and viscosity mu2. And this is the, the interface here. So the uh, the assumptions here we are considering here is steady flow so therefore nothing should change with respect to time so del upon del t term would be equal to zero flow is uh, in x xz plane only so the boundary conditions are at y equal to h1 plus h2 means the upper plate u equal to u naught is no slip conditions because upper plate is moving with the velocity of u naught at y equal to 0 at the lower plate u equal to u0 because this plate is stationary so these two are no slip boundary conditions at y equal to h1 your velocity u1 equal to u, u2 the interface velocity so both fluids have the same velocity at the interface at y equal to h1 the shear stress in lower fluid should be equal to the shear stress in upper fluids this is again the interface boundary conditions so at y equal to h1 mu1 du1 upon dz equal to mu2 du2 upon dz fifth boundary conditions at y equal to 0 the pressure is p0 given at y equal to h1 the the p1 equal to p2 at the interface pressure so now we can apply uh, x momentum balance so x momentum balance is given by this here we are putting the constraint on the steady state flow so del upon del t term would be equal to zero uh, then laminar flow in 2d planes so we are saving there del u upon del x would be here fully doubled flow in x directions v equal to zero because uh, flow is all to purely in x direction so no component in direction y same thing w is al also equal to zero the flow is completely parallel to the plate or in x direction so v and w are zero del u upon del z term would also be equal to zero because we are talking about fully doubled flow in direction z so we have rho gx so g is acting vertically downwards so in this term gx is equal to 0 del p dx upon uh, del p upon del x term is equal to 0 there is no applied pressure gradient in this case 
So del u upon del x is fully developed flow in direction x. Then del u upon del z term would be equal to zero because this uh, width of the plate is very very large as compared to the space between the two plates. So this term would be equal to non-zero. So we have here mu del u square upon del y square equal to zero. So del uh, would be changed to the total derivative now. So d square u upon dy square equal to zero. So this need to be solved. This is our governing equation here. So for fluid one del u square d square u one upon dy square equal to zero for fluid two d square u two upon dy two equal to zero integrate both of them so you will get du one upon upon dy equal to c one for this equation du two upon dy equal to c three integrate again c one by plus c two for this one c u two equal to c three by plus c four now we have the boundary conditions now set so y equal to 0 u1 equal to 0 therefore this constant c2 equal to 0 now at y equal to h1 plus h2 u2 equal to u0 so u2 equal to u0 here so we will get the, this expression in terms of c3 and c4 then at y equal to h we have u1 equal to u2 that is the interface velocity here so we can find velocity at y equal to h here thus that is c1h this is velocity from the second fluid from here uh, this one here that u2 at c3 h1 plus c4 this one now at y equal to h1 we have the shear stresses also must be equal here so mu1 du1 upon dy equal to mu2 du2 upon dy again so for that case you will get here that mu1 c1 equal to mu2 c3 so from here let's say c1 equal to mu2 c3 upon mu1 so this we can substitute at this particular place here so we can substitute here so we will find this this equation here that mu2 upon mu1 h1 c3 equal to c3 h1 plus c4 by equation 5 and 7 we can solve it here for uh, this one so from here we will get the expression for c3 so c3 would be that uh, mu naught uh, u naught mu1 upon mu1 plus mu1 s2 plus mu2 h1 from equation 3 we already have the expression of c1 in terms of c3 so we have c3 expression we can find the expression for c1 here so this is expression for c1 u naught mu2 upon mu1 s2 plus mu2 h1 now we have all constant here so we will find the expression here u naught equal to c3 h1 plus h2 c4 so we will get expression for c4 now so we can solve it here so if we solve it simplify here we will get expression for c4 equal to mu2 h1 minus mu1 h1 upon mu1 h2 plus mu2 h1 into u0 now we have c1 equal to e. from here the velocity one expression u1 equal to c1 into y so this uh, is the value of constant c1 so we will get uh, the expression of velocity of lower fluid so this is the expression for the expression for second fluid velocity the u2 equal to c3 by plus c4 we have the expression for c3 we have expression for c4 so this is the expression for u2 equal to u0 upon mu2 h1 plus mu1 h2 inside the bracket 
म्यू वन ब्रैकेट वाई माइनस एच वन ब्रैकेट क्लोज प्लस वाई टू एच वन यू वन वेलोसिटी द एक्सप्रेशन फॉर लोअर फ्लूड इज यू नॉट अपॉन म्यू टू एच वन प्लस म्यू वन एच टू मल्टीप्लाई बाई यू टू इन टू वाई सो हियर दिस वाई इज लेस देन इक्वल टू एच वन एंड दिस वाई इज ग्रेटर देन एच वन एंड लेस देन एच टू Now we can apply the y momentum balance just to calculate the pressure equation here. So for pressure equation, this is y momentum balance. So here we are putting constant steady state, so nothing is a function of time. Fully doubled flow in direction x, so del b x upon del y would be zero. This uh, v and w is also the zero if we are considering flow is totally in one dimensional in x directions del v upon del z term would be now from here so this side so we have del square v upon del x square is fully doubled flow this del square v uh, v upon del y square so because v velocity is not there so no no flow in direction y so this term is since there no flow in direction y so all v terms are the zero so this term consider v is not present this is also not present this is also not present this is also so all terms of v will get cancelled so finally you will end up here del p upon del y equal to minus rho g y and del p upon del p is there because there is no applied pressure gradient so this term is zero so you left with only this rho g y so we can integrate it here so g is acting is uh, negative by directions here so you can substitute the expression here to so del dp upon dy equal to minus rho g for all fluids here we can integrate for fluid 1 so here fluid 1 we can write dp1 upon dy equal to minus rho 1 g for fluid 1 for fluid 2 is minus rho 2 g so we can integrate here minus rho 1 g y plus c 5 then fluid 2 minus rho 2 g y plus c 6 here so at y equal to y 0 p 1 equal to p 0 given and y equal to h 1 the pressure would be equal p 1 equal to p 2 in the interface pressure so we can put y equal to 0 here so this is the expression from here c5 would be equal to your p naught now this we are balancing at the interface here at y equal to y1 here or h1 so we can put y equal to h1 p naught minus p2 g h1 plus c6 so we will get the expression for here c6 from here now we have the expression for p1 p1 equal to p naught minus rho 1 g by p2 is given by this expression here so so this is the expression for minus rho 2 g by plus constant c6 c6 is this this is coming from here and then we are again substituting here the expression of p1 from here so that will be the expression here p2 equal to p0 plus p2 minus rho 2 minus rho 1 into gh1 minus rho 2 g by so this is the expression for p1 p0 minus rho 1 g by so these are the expression for velocity fields so thank you this is all about the flow quit flow uh, of two different uh, viscosity fluids thank you